गाइस वेलकम बैक टू मॉडिश टेक दिस इज द सीरीज वेयर वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन एसीपी टेक इट 2024 अनाउंसमेंट्स एंड इन दिस सीरीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट ऑटोमेशन एंड इवन द प्लेटफॉर्म स्पेसिफिक बीटीपी अनाउंसमेंट्स नाउ इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच्ड एनी ऑफ दीस एपिसोड्स द लिंक इज जस्ट हियर वन सिंगल प्लेलिस्ट वेयर यू कैन फाइंड एवरीथिंग now grab your coffee hit the like button subscribe to the channel and let's get started this is data and analytics announcements from sap techit 2024 where we will be talking about the major announcements from hana cloud sap analytics cloud and also data sphere let's get started one of the major announcements of techit 2023 was the introduction of SAP HANA cloud vector engine now this has been a major breakthrough in terms of building your intelligent applications on SAP BTP this year in 2024 techkit has gone one step ahead with SAP HANA cloud now SAP is saying that they have improved the vector engine and it's now 1000 times faster but that's not all they have also introduced sap specific test text embedding model which can help you in creating the vectors or vectorizing your text data more easily it means that the gen ai use cases which you have which will run obviously on the text data or natural language that can be made or that can be developed very easily with this capability added to the SAP HANA cloud database the second key announcement for me was the knowledge graph engine which has been added to SAP HANA cloud now this will help us understand the complex relationships between different data points which we already have and which is very difficult when you go through the traditional data modeling um, techniques So SAP has made it simple now with the introduction of knowledge graph engine embedded in SAP HANA cloud. So you have seen two major announcements from SAP HANA cloud. The first one, vectorization made easy by SAP's own text embedding model trained on SAP specific text and the second one is uncovering the relationship between the different data points by the knowledge graph engine of SAP HANA cloud. staying with sap hana cloud third major announcement was that gen ai toolkit is now available for sap hana cloud development what does this mean it means that in business application studio or the new name sap build code you can ask tool to create things for you even for hana projects it means that you can just ask tool to say jewel create me a time series um forecasting model for my data set and it will do that for you it can then give you the statistics how good the model is so all the testing and if you want or if you're interested in seeing the code you can even see the code which jewel will generate in python all development done for you that's sap build code with the gen ai toolkit of sap hana cloud One of the major takeaways for me was SAP Analytics Cloud Compass. This was introduced um, during TechEd only and what it does is it gives or it empowers business users to do real-time risk analysis. What does it mean? It means that given a situation you can see what is the best case, what is the worst case and what are different other cases in between your best and worst. so you can do proper risk analysis under the hood it uses a method called monte carlo and many people who have a background into ai or into statistics know this that it generally runs different simulations predicts the outcomes and then gives it in a probabilistic probabilistic way so you have the probabilities of all the outcomes and that's how you say that what is the best case scenario and what is the worst case scenario so without even knowing the monte carlo method 
you will now be able to see the best case and the worst case in all the scenarios in between and you can do the risk analysis based on your data and the last key takeaway for this episode in data and analytics is the data sphere which will have integrated data lake this data lake will have uh, capabilities like it will be able to store objects it will have compute where uh, data processing can be faster data transformation can be faster it will also have sql on the files uh, functionality where um, the developers will not have to physically copy data from data lake rather they can straight away do and use sql to retrieve data from the object store let's summarize this for you the five key takeaways from sap data and analytics pillar of sap btp so the first one sap hana cloud is getting better and better and stronger and powerful in terms of intelligent applications with generative ai toolkit being added to um, facilitate developers create their own intelligent applications very easily just by prompt to Joule or to SAP build code in official way. Um, knowledge graph being added to uncover the complex relationships between um, different data points and also vectorization made simple by in database vectorization. Coming to analytics, uh, SAP Analytics Cloud Compass to help the business users do real-time risk analysis and see what could be the probable outcomes for a particular scenario. And lastly, data sphere integrated with data lake. So that's it in data and analytics uh, announcements from SAP TechEd 2024. Thanks a lot for watching this episode if you liked it do share it within your network also coming up next would be an episode on um, sap btp integration pillar and all the announcements again from TechEd 2024 so keep watching thank you